Welcome to this section of the course where we're going to talk about the concept of power. And power is one of those concepts that all of you have an idea what it means, just like uh, acceleration velocity, uh, something that you've kind of had some familiarity with before you started studying physics, but maybe you didn't really know the actual definition in terms of how physics defines the concept of power. And that's what we're going to talk about today, and we're going to work some problems dealing with that. Concept of power is really simple, okay, because you guys have had, have, had some experience with like a 60-watt light bulb. Um, or a 50 watt light bulb being a measurement of the power um, <clears throat> in, in that light bulb. So let's talk about that. In order to talk about power, it's important to revisit what we've already talked about, which is the concept of energy. Uh, recall that we've talked about energy in, in, in a car moving and energy and throwing a ball, potential energy and kinetic energy and all that stuff. The unit of energy is joules, okay? Uh, same as the unit of work, okay? And power is uh, is is how fast you're using your energy okay so to give you an example let's say i've got some process or some some box or something and there's you know those 50 joules of energy i've used I've, I've given to that box okay so let's say there's a box of books on the floor and i'm going to push it along and i'm going to give it you know 50 joules of energy okay well, that does describe how much energy I give to the box, and I could be putting putting the box, you know, pushing it faster and giving it kinetic energy, or I could be lifting it up off the ground and giving it potential energy. But that does describe how um, how much energy I'm giving the box, but it doesn't describe how fast I'm giving it that energy. So, do I push the box across the floor and give it that 50 joules of energy in one second, like really quickly? Or do I push the box slower and does it take me an hour to give it that 50 joules? Or maybe I'm a really, you know, really slow guy and maybe it takes me a year to push, that, to push those books and, and give it the 50 joules of energy. So the, the, the unit of energy is, it tells you the state of the system as far as how fast it's going or what its potential energy is or whatever. And the concept of power tells you how fast am I delivering that energy to the system. In other words, how many joules per second, okay? That's what I mean by how fast. So that's exactly what the concept of power is. It's how many joules per second I'm giving um, whatever it is I'm giving or I'm taking out of the system. Okay, so I'm going to write some of this stuff down. Um, recall that um, work and energy are in units of joules. Okay, and that should be nothing new to you. Okay, so the unit of power is work per unit time. So this is what I was telling you. It's, it's how many joules per second. So the unit would be joules per second. And in physics, occasionally, when you use a unit long enough, like this, this is a very common unit, um, instead of writing joules per second, joules per second all the time, um, we actually rename this unit, and that is called a watt, okay? Um, so, so the unit of watt is something you've heard a lot, okay? In light bulbs, 50 watt light bulb, 30 watt light bulb, 150 watt light bulb, whatever, okay? What that's telling you is, and you guys all know that the higher the wattage of a light bulb, the brighter it is, okay? So for a 50 watt light bulb, that means that every second I'm spewing out 50 joules of energy, okay? from the electric uh, wall socket or whatever it's plugged into. And if it's a 100 watt light bulb, that means 100 joules per second. So anytime you see the word watt, it's just that many joules per second, okay? So the reason the 100 watt light bulb is brighter is because in, in one second, I'm giving you more energy, and that comes out in the form of light, and that's why the, bright, the light is brighter, okay? Um, 